Welcome back viewers and friends. So here I am with a new topic for today, uh, which is basically Ayurvedic approach to allergies. Before I delve into this topic, I would like to request uh, the new viewers who have just reached out my channel from somewhere to, to subscribe. And if you like the video uh, going forward, then you can also like it and share with, uh, with other people so that they can also get benefited with this, uh, with Ayurvedic uh, wisdom out of the big ocean which I normally bring here. The objective here is actually to inspire and educate people about Ayurveda and also to create awareness because a um, uh, lot of people don't know about Ayurveda yet. They must have uh, heard about Ayurveda and they normally relate Ayurveda with, uh, with Panchkarma therapies or massage or Abhyangam like some relaxation thing but no that's not true. Ayurveda is one of the oldest medical science or the system of healing and treatment uh, originated from India and uh, it is time tested and it is an absolute uh, elaborate science in itself. So uh, let's start uh, today's topic. Well, We all know about allergies. Allergies are nothing but basically a response of your immune system to certain uh, triggers. Now those triggers could be external factors uh, it could be your food, it could be something coming in the air, in your water, in your food, some kind of a chemical being added in the food or uh, it could be dust, it could be cold, change of environment or weather, it could be anything. I'm not going to go deeper into uh, intricacies of allergy and various different kinds of allergies because uh, that would be a different video actually. Today's uh, topic is about uh, Ayurvedic approach to allergies and what Ayurveda actually recommends to uh, manage uh, these allergic reactions which keep happening. First of all, we need to understand that the major cause of allergy is our diet. What we eat is really important. So we have to do dietary adjustments. I would uh, categorize allergy as based on dosha because in Ayurveda, everything fundamentally starts from doshas. So uh, let me talk about the vat allergies. For individuals with vat type allergies, an Ayurvedic uh, diet emphasizes warm, nourishing foods that help to ground and balance the, uh, the light and the irregular qualities of vat. Uh, foods which are well cooked grains, root vegetables and, and, and hearty soups are recommended. Spices like ginger, cinnamon can also be included to provide warmth and aid digestion. So what would happen if the vat gets aggravated? then it is going to create dryness. It is going to deprive the cells and tissues from uh, vital uh, substances which are needed for sustenance and maintenance of that particular tissue, eventually organ and organ system. So uh, it would create kind of imbalance which would give you certain kind of allergies. So the predominant uh, Symptoms of the vat allergies are feeling nauseatic, uh, feeling lightheaded, feeling stressed. Apart from that, uh, there would be uh, breathlessness, fainting, dizziness um, and tremors. Well, cough allergies, cough type allergies often involve formation of excess mucus and congestion. To contract this, Ayurveda suggests a diet that is light, warm and in in which includes pungent, bitter and astringent taste. Spices uh, like black pepper and turmeric can be beneficial as well. It's advisable to minimize heavy cold and dairy based foods which can increase cough imbalances. The next uh, important aspect that we need to consider is to reduce AMA. AMA is a toxin, it's a Sanskrit word, basically a metabolic waste or toxins which accumulate over the period of time because of sluggish elimination or excretion and also because of sluggish digestion. So Ayurveda acknowledges that allergies can worsen when there is a buildup of ama or toxins in the body. To address this, individuals with allergies are encouraged to consume a diet uh, that supports healthy digestion. This includes avoiding processed foods, overeating and certain food combinations which are not compatible. I have made a separate video for incompatible or the wrong combinations of food. Uh, you can go there and watch that video to get informed about which are those incompatible food combinations. I'll put the link in the description below here uh, so that uh, you can click it and watch that video later on. As I said that to reduce AMA, we have to improve our digestion and Agni. Uh, at the same time, we have to 
look out for the food combinations because a lot of people eat different stuff together and then they become sick they can't digest it all uh, and your daily routine your uh, basically everything about the incharya needs to be followed you need to eat you need to do certain things important things uh, in within your lifestyle at a fixed time there could be a difference of uh, uh, there could be a minor difference of 10 15 minutes that's permissible but not like uh, two or three hours like today you are eating at 12 and next day you are eating at 2 or 3 and then you are just keep changing it so you have to stick to your routines uh, as much as possible um, apart from that simple meals with whole unprocessed foods are emphasized to reduce ama overeating should be discouraged uh, as per ayurveda you should eat uh less and then uh, keep almost 25 to 30 percent empty that also includes fluids which normally people consume along with meals basically people should not consume uh, liquids along with meals but people do so that is the reason 25 to 30 percent of the stomach should be empty on the contrary people overeat and they stuff their stomach Ayurveda detoxification and cleansing. Ayurveda cleansing practices such as panchakarma, as tailored to the individual's constitution and imbalances, as, uh, are quite effective to cleanse your body and 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 reduce ama. Once ama is gone, um, waste material is out of your body. Then allergies um, would be gone as well because that would strengthen your digestion, microbiome of your gut. and eventually it would lead to improved immunity and a better response to the allergens these practices help in the removal of ama from the body panchakarma often involves therapies like oil massages abhyangam herbal steam like swedana and and enemas like basti to purify the body and restore balance regular cleansing can be especially beneficial for individuals prone to allergies ayurveda offers a lot of herbs known for their anti allergic properties the first one is turmeric which is also known as curcuma longa renowned for its anti inflammatory and immunity modifying effects uh, turmeric can help alleviate allergic symptoms then trifla a combination of three fruits amalki vibhatiki and haritiki trifla is a gentle detoxifier that supports digestion and reduces ama neem Neem's anti-inflammatory and immune-boosting properties make it a valuable herb in allergy management. I'm just mentioning these herbs with a bit of introduction because each herb would require a dedicated video, and I don't have so much time here to keep talking about single single thing within this. So, um, in the coming days and times, I would uh, also start a Ayurveda herbal series where I'm going to. a uh, dedicate a separate video for each and every herb so that viewers can get educated while well, these herbs can be consumed as supplements or incorporated into one's diet to help reduce inflammation boost immunity and promote overall well-being one very effective therapy in ayurveda uh, to cleanse your body and eventually uh, say goodbye to your allergies mostly of upper respiratory tract and your mouth your ear your nose is nasal cleansing also known as uh, neti neti is a practice of nasal irrigation using a saline solution there is a special pot called neti pot people who have learnt yoga formally or maybe they have gone to certain yoga therapeutic uh, sessions with therapist they must be knowing what i am talking about um, it helps cleanse the nasal passages Uh, remove allergens and reduce congestion uh, neti pots designed for this purpose are widely available as i said and the practice can offer immediate relief for allergy symptoms especially for those with nasal allergies and upper respiratory tract lifestyle modifications are quite important if you want to get rid of your specific allergies regular daily routine can be emphasized more in ayurveda maintain a daily routine known as dincharya helps to stabilize vata and kapha imbalances which largely give to different kind of allergies um, this routine includes wake up and going to bed at consistent times self care practices like massage abhyangam and regular exercises or yoga along with uh, sticking to the meal timings then stress management is also important if we cannot eliminate stress we live in the modern world with lot of triggers for the stress part we can definitely manage and minimize it 
uh, yoga is a very effective way of managing stress there are quite a few amazing uh, techniques in yoga which can help you to relax and manage stress quite efficiently i would uh, create a separate video for that in the uh, coming days uh, and you can definitely benefit it from that information other than there are a lot of videos on youtube as well how yoga can help uh, in stress but i am going to uh, come up with a very important information and techniques which you can utilize in your day-to-day -day life. Stress can increase the allergy symptoms, it can make the allergy go worse. Ayurveda encourages mindfulness practices, meditation and pranayama with our breathing exercises to manage stress and reduce its impact on the body. Certain yoga poses like Bhujangasana, Cobra poses, Matsyasana which is fish pose help open the chest and improve lung function making them beneficial for individuals with respiratory um, allergies. Pranayama practices such as anilom, vilom, alternate nostril breathing can also help clear nasal passages and reduce congestion. Ayurveda recognizes that each person is unique and what works for one individual may not work for another. Therefore, an Ayurvedic practitioner or consultant must assess a person's prakriti which is a base constitution and vikriti which is current imbalances to develop a customized approach to allergy management, which may include a combination of uh, dietary, herbal and lifestyle recommendations. Where there are recent scientific validations in the form of studies uh, which have delved into the effectiveness of Ayurvedic practices and herbs in allergy management. For example, research on turmeric and its active compound curcumin has shown promising anti-allergy and anti-inflammatory properties. Um, I feel these studies support the traditional use of Ayurvedic remedies in managing allergies. Actually, Ayurveda doesn't need any validation. It's been a time-tested, age-old, ancient medical system uh, with so much of benefit. But because a lot of people are not aware, a majority of people or large portion of the globe is not aware of Ayurveda. So that's the reason uh, scientific studies help. Uh, because people believe in science. Ayurveda is also a science, but not as prevalent as the conventional medical science is. So my objective here actually is to correlate the, the conventional scientific clinical studies with the already established facts about Ayurveda. So in conclusion, the Ayurvedic approach uh, to allergies is a comprehensive and customized system of addressing the root causes of allergic reactions by balancing the doshas, reducing ama and supporting overall well-being through diet, lifestyle and herbal remedies. Ayurveda provides not only relief from symptoms but also a path to lasting well-being and harmony. But consulting a qualified Ayurvedic practitioner or consultant is mandatory and you should not go ahead and do the self-treatment because that's going to go um, in the opposite direction and you might get in trouble. So one of the strengths of Ayurveda is its customized approach, which largely differentiates it from the conventional medical science uh, because it considers individual constitution, vikriti and prakriti. So this was a short video about uh, approaching allergies through Ayurveda. Hope you liked the video. If you did, uh, do not forget to uh like and share and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then please do that would encourage me uh, to come up with uh, such informative videos on ayurveda a lot of people have started asking me that you are not creating videos on yoga and yoga therapy or kundalini yoga of course uh, i am also a yoga teacher for almost 12 years now and i love making videos on yoga as well so uh, my practical situations I, I have been uh, teaching and I'm also teaching yoga right now so that's a lot of work for me I promise you that very soon I'm going to start uh, the yoga series as well focusing on yoga therapy and kundalini yoga so that uh, people are interested to learn a bit of yoga uh, or at, at least get information about yoga therapy and kundalini so that you can get inspired to learn it in a structured way with uh, with a experienced teacher or a mentor then my purpose would be solved so uh, that's all for now i'll see you in the next video with a new topic till then take a very good care of yourself